WrestleMania 40 weekend has come and gone. And whether you watch this show or not, it was going to have some lasting impacts from a couple, if not several, of these matches that were on the card. One of those matches included the Women's World Championship between Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch. Now, if you follow Very Cold Lasagna, I've had some strong opinions on this match, whether it was the lead up to this match or just the match itself or just like, you know, the, these two in general, like in characters, of course. Um, but nonetheless, nothing more I can complain about because it's it's happened already. So nothing I can like, you know, have some opinions about. But as expected, Rhea Ripley did retain her Women's World Championship. And now you have to answer the question, what do you do now? What do you do now with uh, Rhea Ripley, uh, considering that, well, she's already surpassed one year into her title reign. And, well, when you look at the landscape of the Raw roster, and as well, I guess you could say the SmackDown roster, there isn't really much left, uh, there, if not anything, for Rhea Ripley to do. Um, when it comes to challengers, when it comes to facing anybody, um, as of right now, and that runs into a problem post WrestleMania for Triple H and the WWE. You basically have nobody to face, nobody. However, yes, even though we have a draft coming up, sure you can refresh the rosters, give Rhea some new faces to uh to challenge, or draft her over to SmackDown. There's still unresolved one unresolved story that can give Rhea a run for her money and potentially, hopefully, even take the title off of her because it fits the story. That being Liv Morgan. As as I said for the last several months, um, going back to July of last year, Liv Morgan is the, if not, I wouldn't say perfect candidate to take the title off of Rhea Ripley and end her reign, but it fits the story of of their of their history um you know their tag team you know being the last one to pin Rhea and you know her injuring uh Rhea injuring Liv back in July and yeah Liv is still out for revenge even though the booking hasn't exactly been you know good for for Liv Morgan since she came back and that's that's, that's exactly a problem that's exactly why I have a problem currently when it comes to, you know, getting to that point. Um, that's one of the other points I wanted to make. So, when it comes to booking Rhea and, and Liv Morgan post-WrestleMania, I feel like WWE is, uh, no, not, I guess not WWE, but fans are setting both of them up for failure. They're setting them both up for failure because they want immediately want this match to happen three weeks out at Backlash. It's like, you don't want that. Like, you don't want that. I certainly don't want that because it's going to feel like a consolation prize. And it it's going to feel like one and done. You have to look at where Liv Morgan was going into WrestleMania and where she is going to be post-WrestleMania, like on Monday Night Raw. You have to remember that ever since she came back from the Royal Rumble, she's lost pretty much almost all her matches. She lost the Royal Rumble. She's lost the Elimination Chamber. Like, being the runner-up twice in those major matches, by the way. Which is not good. Um, if you want to, for a comparison's sake, look at my San Francisco 49ers. Look at the 1990s Buffalo Bills. So, think about that. And then she's lost clean to Becky Lynch um, just three weeks out before WrestleMania. So, yeah. You can say, oh, she's had good performances in those matches. But she's still lost. She's still lost. That's the key word. Lose. So, what I feel like if WWE and and these two really want to have a good a good feud, and if the plan is to really give Liv Morgan a proper women's world championship reign this time around, compared to nearly two years ago, they have they have to seriously rebuild her. Forget calling this the Liv Morgan Revenge Tour. You have to replace the word revenge with rebuild because that's exactly what WWE needs to be doing post WrestleMania. If you want to have a Rhea versus Liv feud going throughout this summer, you got to rebuild that her, that girl because man, you have to feel bad for her, man. Having to have her wait on the sidelines, 
um have her come back earlier than expected maybe, maybe yeah get it she was healthy but it's like you have her come back lose all these big matches and then have her miss wrestlemania just like that and i get it not everyone can be on the card but it's like you come back you're one of their um uh, major stars yes not main event yet but you have her miss wrestlemania like just three weeks out that's kind of that's that's kind of shady if you ask me but anyway you have you have to rebuild Liv morgan if you're gonna have her face rhea ripley in a major feud um if not take the title off of her and if it's not Liv morgan then who else is it, who else is it gonna be um i feel like there there could be other like uh, three other options um but here's the issue with it there's one of them was jay cardgill uh, but I feel like there's there's still time that needs to be had in terms of developing her, um, you know, getting her exposed to the main roster. Um, I feel like they're going to really slow burn her. Um, but she did have a good performance at WrestleMania um, from what I saw. Uh, Tiffany Stratton, I, I like the potential of her. I feel, I'm a big, I'm a fan of her, but I feel like she's going to go after um, the, women's, uh, the women's championship um, after WrestleMania as long as they keep building her up. Uh, giving her TV time, and then you have Bianca Belair. Um, the ma- um the feud that everyone wants. Um, at next year's WrestleMania, I mean, like, really? Do do people? Um, I get it, people want that match, but does it really have to involve the title? Um, and does it really have to be Bianca the one to dethrone really Rhea Ripley after she's already had a one a year long women's championship reign? Like. Really? Like, do we really need that? I don't know. It's just me. It's just me. But at the end of the day, when it comes to um, people wanting Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan um, post WrestleMania, you have to think of you know when you when when are we gonna get this, and how are we gonna get to it? Um, I feel like the the right time to do this is not at backlash because like i said it's going to be one and done if you do it like three weeks out you have to rebuild live morgan first so how do you how do you how do you get there like let's say at clash of the castle in in mid-june or at money in the bank in toronto in july well uh, give her a slate of of opponents on on pay-per-view um i don't know if becky lynch is not um is not taking her break yet have her face uh live live in becky and in france and then have her compete in Queen of the Ring, uh, live compete in Queen of the Ring, and then you get to Rhea. I don't know. And then for Rhea, you have her face some um, filler opponents again, like Shayna Baszler or Zoe Stark or Chelsea Green. Uh, either way, you gotta you gotta rebuild Liv Morgan first if you want to have this actual feud uh, between the two. It, it's just like you you have you have nothing left. You have nothing left but for Rhea to do. And if you want Liv Morgan to actually have a revenge tour, if you want her to actually, you know, compl- cap it off, if you're the WWE and and, her, and these, these fans, then you have to rebuild her first because she's taken a lot of damage since coming back. So if you want this Liv Morgan revenge tour to be complete, to be as credible as it is, you got to rebuild her up and for Liv Morgan too you gotta take it seriously too you, you have to take it seriously I know she takes she takes everything seriously but this is this is like your proving ground this is your proving ground going forward um Becky Lynch is probably gonna be out of the spotlight um well like I said there's nobody else but probably you going forward so just my two cents on on what's probably to come post WrestleMania. But as as it stands now, yeah. Let's not call the Live Morgan uh let's not call it the Live Morgan Revenge Tour until well it starts to become more credible. Um until we can see that oh Liv Morgan is actually rebuilt. And this is me saying it as a Live fan too. We need to start calling it the Live Morgan Rebuild Tour. Let's get that going. Hashtag yes L M R T but the R Stands for rebuild. We got to rebuild that shit from the ground up. We need to uh, make her credible again. So just my two cents on that. Um, 
we, whether we agree or disagree on that or not, uh, or not, well, that's for you to decide. But anyway, let me know your thoughts um, on Liv Morgan's rebuild tour in the comments below. And well, what, who do you think Rhea Ripley will be thrown by eventually in the comments below as well? Anyway, this is Dylan Lasagna signing out a very cold lasagna with a little quick take video. Uh, and as always, keep the lasagna very cold in the fridge with your takes on the world of sports. And until the next one, peace out.